Hi guys, welcome to WRI Media. So today I'm going to explain about Dell Dell desktop uh, how to change SSD. So this I have Dell Optiplex 7070. So even the other models almost all the desktops are same same process so let's see so i'm going to add uh, i have already one tb hard disk it's a uh, hdd so i'm going to add one 256 ssd for the windows so i'll be installing windows on it so i will show you how to add ssd how to fix and also installing windows 11 on it so let's start this is back side of the pc okay so in dell optiplex 7070 there is a back side there is slot for serial then there is old ps2 mouse mouse and keyboard this is for keyboard and there is single slot for mic and headset so you can use single pin headset in that so the other than that there is a display port and there is two display port actually so in this model it's not coming hdmi so display port so if you have hdmi on the monitor or vga you can use there is small converter which is coming display port to vga or display port to hdmi so you can use that converter for the monitor and there is actually there are so many usb ports this is usb 3 uh, which is coming four slot there and there is two usb 2 2 port then lan port also there and you, when we open that uh, you can see there is a vga two, 2 vga port and one pca pca express also and this is a power supply so front side the front side it's written here dell Opti oh, it's optiplex 7070 and this is the cd rom and the back side there is almost six usb port front side also there is two usb 2.0 and one usb 3.0 and also there is one c type uh, usb so this is the outside view of Dell uh, Optiplex 7070. For, so for opening there is a lock button here, this blue button. So just push this one and hold it. Then pull the cover. Just push this and hold it then pull the cover. Then it will open. So when you open you can see like this so the things are inside so first we need to open this for opening this just pull this one up see. And you so when you open you can see there is hard disk here i have one tv hard disk and there is cd rom here also there is some extra slots for hard disk and i have two ram here which is 4 gb two 4 gb rams 4 gb 4 gb so i have 8 gb ram total and this is processor fan it's a cooling fan for the processor and other than that there is a two vga slot is there 
and one PCA slot also there and there is small this uh, PCA express slot so there are four slot so you can add VGA card other PCA uh, cards extension card there are so many type of uh, cards are coming even network card if you have LAN port the built-in LAN port um, LAN port if there is any problem with that you can add one LAN card here PCA card or sound card uh, USB there are so many PCA type is coming other even PC Express also coming other than that this is uh, for the VGA it's for power unit SATA port is there for slot so you can connect up to four SATA devices any hard disk or CD ROM any other device which is coming SATA so today we are going to add uh, 256 SST SST uh, 256 it's a NVMe so I'm going to add this uh, for the windows so I'll be installing windows on it so we will install the windows on it so I have already one TV hard disk in this so hard disk I will use for the storage for the file data so i'll be installing windows on it so it will be more much faster for booting and opening softwares running softwares all this will be much faster so nvme is very easy to add it's just plug and play like a ram so you don't need any cable or any other connector so this is the nvme port here in this motherboard can see it's near RAM it's here so I'm going to add this just plug plug it it's very easy to plug okay then push it we need to fix here so for fixing we will use one uh, screw it's already fixed so that's all you don't need any cable connection uh, just plug it because yeah. okay so we will connect this to monitor so I have a display cable which is going to monitor and this is power cable so I am plugging the power and the monitor. This is for US wireless USB, uh, wireless keyboard and mouse. So I am plugging this, and this is for the Wi Fi. It's Wi Fi USB dongle. So I am using Wi Fi on for the desktop. When you turn on PC, immediately press F12. Press F12. 
because for Dell it's coming F12 for boot menu it, it, it will run in boot mode then select your lecture okay so I'll show you one more thing it's, uh, this, this is booting UEFA mode there is two mode in for booting legacy mode and uh, UEFA so if UEFA is not enabled you can go to BIOS setting then go, go to boot sequence so you can see here select the boot sequence then you have two options here legacy and ufa it's already turned on so select ufa then click up right here if it is not turned on apply here then exit then press f12 again So select your boot device so this is my USB so I'm selecting this then enter now loading uh, windows 11 click next and install select uh, which version of windows you need to install so windows 11 pro i am selecting click next click accept then next then custom install windows only advanced click on it so this is the new 256 gb ssd which we added it's nvme ssd so click new then apply okay it will create a partition so this is the partition okay then click next for starting windows installation so it is started the installation so it will take almost 10 minutes to finish this as you can see here it will start one percentage so up to 100 it's almost finished 
here uh, select your country so the keyboard so i'm continuing with the default one yes if you want to add any other language keyboard you can click uh, add layout then add it so i'm i'm not going to add anything only english keyboard then click skip if you don't want to add any other keyboard you just skip it so here it's asking to connect with your network so now i'm clicking i don't have uh, internet because i'll be connecting with the wi-fi so i'm clicking i don't have internet so that is easy because you can continue with the limited setup for otherwise it will last for the all details for registration everything so here you can enter uh, your username so i'm putting user just give any any your username the password if you want password just enter the password otherwise if you click next uh, it will be blank password so this is choose privacy setting that is up to you if you want uh, to enable all this you can enable it this location access this is even later you can you can enable later also from the control panel click accept now the window setup almost It's almost uh, finished this is uh, it will take few minutes So I'll be uploading daily uh, mainly technical videos like CCTV uh, related, desktop PC related, server and networking related. Also for uh, continue watching and learning uh, the IT related uh, all the solutions, uh, the problem solving everything. Please do subscribe follow and please like and comment also if you have any doubt regarding the it related you can just send message on it so i will reply on the message so please do subscribe and like thank you thank you for watching